everyone. Now, right here, I have an Indramat software module, and this plugs into a DDS 03.1-W030-R. And here's the connector for it that plugs into the servo drive. Now, about six, seven months ago, I needed to pull the data out of this software module and install into another software module whose e -square prom data had become corrupt. I wanted to copy from this one and install into the corrupt software module. So I made an adapter. <laughs> Ain't too much gets by this old man. <laughs> I reverse engineered the uh, circuit that the e square prom uh, resides inside this software module. The part number of the e square prom inside that software module is AT28C64-15SC, made by Atmel. Let me show you the adapter that I made. That's it right there. Now, down here is a 5 volt regulator, some filter capacitor. That's to power up the software module. I bring uh, 8, 10 volts DC into this connector right here, and it gets regulated by that 7805 three terminal regulator. Here is the connector where the software module plugs into. And right here is a wire wrap socket that plugs into the program. Nice. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Let's see how it works. Here's our programmer. It's made by EE Tools. This is called the Top Max Universal Programmer. Now, this is an old one. We've had this one probably 10 years, maybe. Over here is the power supply that I'm going to use to power up the uh, adapter and software module. And I've got uh, maybe 10 volts on this connector right here. So first, Let's get plugged into the adapter and programmer. I'm going to get in the way a little bit right here. The wire wrap IC allows us, the pins are long enough on that socket, to plug into the programmer. software module programming adapter plugged into the programmer. We're going to plug the power, power supply into the programming adapter. Now we're going to plug the software module, Intermat software module, into our adapter. Let's power it up. We'll go over and open up the Top Max programmer program on the computer. Now, right now, the 27C256 is selected. So we got to select that Atmel E Square Prom. Click on Select. Let's go up here from ST. To Atmel, and now let's go find the 28C64. There it is, right there. 28C64 in DIP 28, dual inline package. That's the one we want to select. 
click OK. Now we go up here and we click on read because we want to pull the data from that E square prom inside the software module. And we've just read it and we have a buffer checksum of 6865. We're going to save that. Let's save it to the desktop. That'll be an easy place to find it. And we'll just give it a simple name. One, two, three. Now let's go see if it made it to the desktop. There it is right there. One, two, three. That's where our data's at. Now, let's go back to the program and we'll load it back in. Click on program and it's sending that data back into the eSquare prom inside that software module. Let's click on verify. Yes, verification OK. Good. Let's read it back out. There's our checksum again, our buffer checksum. 6865. <laughs> so oh, isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? With that adapter right there, you can read and write to the Indramat software module. Alright folks. Thank you very much for stopping by and seeing what I'm experimenting with today. <laughs> I like doing stuff like that. That breaks up a monotonous day when you have to use your mind. <laughs> okay. All right. I hope you all are having a good day. And uh, we'll see you next time. Now, there's one thing I've got to say about this adapter. I tried this on a portable programmer and it did not work. And I believe because the portable programmers, drivers that drive the data addressing and control are not as robust as this programmer right here, this benchtop program. So keep that in mind when you go to construct this. If it doesn't work, Try it on a different program after uh, checking your wiring. <laughs>